Hey up everyone, I hope you really enjoyed this week's episode of F Friday on the Farm. Comes Come after on. Thursday, day before Saturday. Come on. <laughs> Swiss Valets are our absolutely favourite breed. We couldn't be happier with how they've done from a breeding point of view. We're going to have a closer look at them now. They're not Come my favourite. You Come have on. to shear them twice a year. Yeah. I'd rather have a Dutch spotted any day. Here we are in our Swiss Valet pen. The sheep behind me were on the show. You can see the progress that the lambs have made now. They're, uh, they've grown really nicely. We couldn't be happier with the progress so far. It wasn't that straightforward though, Rob, if you remember. One or two of the little lambs weren't in the right position for giving birth. So uh, I think one of them had a leg back. I had to push it back in, flip the leg forward and bring it out. So it was a little bit traumatic, wasn't it? Some people actually think it's quite unusual to lamb sheep in autumn. Now, with Swiss Valleys... It is. It is. With Swiss Valleys, though, they will breed whatever time of year you want. I think Hampshire Downs are another breed that you can do with that. So we think it's nice to actually spread lambing out a little bit. And, and it's nice for our customers as well to see baby lambs born all <laughs> year round. Uh, the lambs around me are doing fabulously well. They're growing really nicely. The ones that were actually born on the programme are doing super well. We couldn't be happier with them and, uh, and they're definitely living their best life at Cannon Hall Farm. To breed a Swiss Valley of show potential, the markings need to be absolutely perfect. David here has got a lamb and he's going to explain to us what a top class Swiss Valley should should have. Right, right. First of all, at the back, on the back of the legs, Rob. Yeah, that back Those of the knee. Knees, two and nice the markings oh, there. Sorry. Some nice... <laughs> Socks as well, and knee pads, Rob. They have the wee booties. Are they, oh, sorry, the wee booties, according to uh, Raymond. And the uh, the knee pads, nice little, the right size markings. Now they're, they're just a little bit too big. Aren't a they? little bit too big, but still make a nice tuck. Mm. And of course, you've got to think about the horns, Rob. Yeah. You need uh, you know nice classy horns, really, curling the right way, mm. not the wrong way. Eh? He's a nice lamb. Go on, off you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're a nice lamb, aren't you? <laughs> We've never lambed before at autumn, and so far so good, it's been really successful. All the sheep that have lambed are only, uh, they're only gimmers really, the first time mums themselves. They've done fabulously well, the mothering instincts have been first class, and we couldn't be happier with it really, we'll definitely do it again. We're just about finished lambing our autumn flock. Now, it's not going to be long before we're lambing in February, and then we've got Easter. In fact, in fact we're lambing nearly all year round. Isn't it great? It's not great, I need a holiday. Oh, holiday. We don't need holiday. We need more sheep. Thank you so much for watching this week's episode. We hope you've enjoyed it. And please tune in again next Friday, 9 o'clock, Channel 5. Be there or be square. You really did that quite well. Thank you. <laughs>